I have called, I know you talk about this stuff too, the feminization of not America, of Western society that has happened over the last hundred years is, it's amazing to watch. Our men are now feminine now. It's horrible. It's destroying us. And I don't know how to reverse it, brother. Wow, man, we're jumping right in there. Yeah, it's, uh, we're in a weird place, man. We're in such a weird place in modern Western society where in so many ways, things are incredible and better than they've ever been and better than they are anywhere in the world. But at the same time, I think we all have this feeling and foreboding of stuff really declining and progressing in various ways um, in society and in culture by things that are not always measurable in the typical sense. Some things can be measured. You can, you can measure a rise in depression or a rise in overdoses or a rise in, rise in self-harm or suicide, especially amongst teenagers. But if you look at many other standards, if you look at overall you know, economic prosperity, health, life expectancy, and so on, these things are pretty much close to all time highs and there's so much still to be grateful for. So I think one of the biggest challenges that we're having now in modern society are not actually problems of lack, but problems of excess, problems of being so comfortable for so long. Um, and I think that the decline in masculinity, which you alluded to earlier, is a part of it. I think that people have just become so comfortable and life has become so easy for so many millions of us that you really have to go out of your way to stay healthy mentally and physically and spiritually. And you have to actually go and make your life harder than it necessarily needs to be. If you just do the minimum about amount necessary to survive, then in the past, that would have been enough to stay healthy. But nowadays, you need to go above and beyond that. If you just go and you just do what the norm is, then the norm is being fat and being unhealthy and probably being on some type of drugs and not really being a happy, successful person. Speak to that for a minute, because I love that, and I've tried to apply that as much as I can to my own life about intentionally seeking out some level of discomfort, because you're so right, you don't have to anymore. I'm I, talking to you right now, uh, while you answer the next question, and it'd take me about a minute to order a cheeseburger that would be delivered to the front door of my studio right now. That's, that's life that's so absurdly easy, kings of the past couldn't relate to it. So we have it so good, it's ruining us. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's crazy, Jesse. I mean, where we are, Either one of us could literally just stay seated in the chair that we are sitting in right now, and we could stay alive for the next several years. We wouldn't be healthy and we wouldn't be happy, but we, we could literally not leave the room that we're in. And that's not true for most of the billions of people in the world. And it's not true for any other time of human society where you can have access to food, water, shelter, um, warm, whatever even social connection we have our, our phones we can connect on social media we can have this conversation without even being in the same room or the same city so you have to go out of your way to make life difficult especially in a country like the usa i mean i was just thinking yesterday i'm in arkansas right now and there's so many u.s cities in particular which are just designed for cars right you can't even walk around if you want to and you can just sit down, you can spend your whole life sitting and so many people do, and you don't need to do any sort of physical exertion and you can make your money, you can, uh, you can feed yourself, you can, you can take care of your survival tasks. So if you wanna be in shape, you have to go out of your way. The, the gym is the most example uh, of this, the most obvious example, the gym, working out, going for a run. These are things, I mean, if our ancestors walked into a modern day gym, they'd be very, very confused. They'd be very confused. They'd be like, wait, so you drive to this location so that you can walk or run or lift weights. They're like, why don't you just do some farming? Why don't you just do some hunting? Why don't you go to war, do some fighting, right? Go do that usual man stuff. And um, we essentially have to replicate that often by artificial means now just to maintain a basic level of health. And that's pretty crazy, but that's what you have to do. And I think even in terms of career success and happiness and relationships and so on, you kind of have to go out of your way. If you just take the easy route, then you're just gonna get what most people get. You're just gonna kind of be there and be very mediocre. But if you wanna 
if you really want to be fulfilled, you have to go out there and make your life a little bit harder than it needs to be. And I think there are positive and healthy ways of doing that. And there are also negative and destructive ways of doing that. And when you see people who are not doing that in a positive and creative and helpful way, you see them, you see it on Twitter every day, right? What do they do? They try to tear down other people instead. You see the hatred and the vitriol and the fire and the anxiety coming out in other ways. It's directed inwards towards themselves in a destructive fashion, or it's directed outwards at other people. Um, I have a general idea that men are always building or destroying. I think that's been true the, for all of human history. So I think that it's so important for men in particular to have to be building something. You have to be building some type of empire, some type of legacy, some type of creative project. You have to be doing something with your hands because idle hands, uh, you know, we know what the devil does with those. And I think that we see that. Don't miss Jesse Kelly Breaks History. Che Guevara, the latest episode of a new series available now exclusively for First TV supporters. Visit the First TV app or thefirsttv.com to subscribe and start watching today.